what's up so i don't know if anybody's tuned in or if they're listening just know you can also find me on skype under master casualty and that's right casual tea like the drink because i'm a different kind of laid back uh let's see what should we talk about this first time don't mind me i'm sitting here sipping on my drink i have my cigarette i know some people are against it to each their own i totally understand you know um i think what i really want to talk about right now is uh friends and family uh mostly friends because i uh just started connecting with some people again and you know it's really weird how time kind of gets away from us we kind of go about our day and we lose sight of the best friend we had you know when we were in high school or like say you're 20 and you're like oh i wonder what happened to such and such from when you were 13. well i've learned it's very important to keep those people that made an impact in your life around you um, if not directly around you, just, you know, thanks to technology at your fingertips and with the ultimate search engine searches that we have, you know, it's not too hard to find who you're looking for unless they got married and, like, I don't know, fell off the planet or something. It kind of happens. But, uh, yeah. Um, my day was made today when I reconnected with a girl from high school. Uh, named Victoria and her and I you know like I don't know it was cool because we didn't have our own particular group we just kind of moved from niche to niche like the little goth kids and the nerdy kids and not so much the the cheerleader type folks but every once in a while you know we still hung out with them uh, most of y'all probably don't know unless you knew me back then, but I looked much different. I was a little goth girl with my head shaved, and you know, I wore the trip pants where you could fit a two liter soda in your back pocket. And so people kind of looked at me funny, but I, you know, I, oh well. <laughs> but me and Victoria, we got along, and today she told me, well, she thanked me pretty much. She said, Thank you, you know, for just being there and, and including me I guess is a good way to put it and just letting her know that like you know there are good people out there and, and that's what I always strive to do um, everyone you know we can't always be a good person but if as long as you're trying I think that matters but um, you don't realize what kind of an impact you make on someone's life um, whether it be the one time you meet them or being best friends for 30 years um, I didn't realize that you know I had such an impact on her life and she said she was a, sh a shut-in pretty much you know didn't hang out with many people and being around me kind of gave her that drive to want to spend time with good people and that makes me feel good honestly I, I wish more people could embrace that and I know with work and some people with school and all that again it is really hard to lose focus of the people around you so yeah I just want to thank her like I told her for school and everything like I dropped out twice and when I came back the second time I didn't come back for the education I came back for the experience because it was the people that I missed, you know? And yeah, I am gonna say, I did go back and get my GED eventually. <laughs> but like, those are the kind of connections you don't have the opportunity to make anywhere else, except for, you know, in a place surrounded by other lost kids that have no idea what they're doing. They're just growing up too, you know? So yeah. Um, I'm here on my Skype, and I would like for anybody or everyone to 
send me a message or Facebook. Um, it's Katty Jan, C A T T Y J A N. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird because, like I said, I'm new at this whole podcast. As you know, this is my first live broadcast. So I am getting a feel for it. Uh, it's kind of cool because I'm used to talking to myself. <laughs> but now I get to talk to myself and maybe people will listen. Um, yeah. So let's see what we have going on here, me and my multiple pages. Again, so talking to my friend today made me want to reach out. And so I've contacted a lot of friends, some of them from high school, some of them, you know, just from throughout the lifetime. I made a lot of friends when I moved out to California, but then uh, I spent a lot of my time having internet friends. (laughs) So I didn't leave the house very much, but I did stay online a lot. And now I'm trying to change that. 2015 is the year for socializing and, you know, really enjoying what's out there. And friendship is definitely something that everybody needs. Um, It's good to have someone you can talk to about anything, be it, you know, if you're sad or if you're happy or, like, you know, if your stomach's upset because you both went to the same restaurant and only one of y'all got sick or you know you need someone to laugh with about those things (laughs) so hmm never realized how much i say so (laughs) i am uh waiting on some people to show up i have my buddy uh kulo hawkrick he is a fire performer and he's down here in the LA area. If you guys ever have a party or you want to see some amazing fire, <clears throat> that's the guy to talk to. Um, as well as pretty much any of his friends, a uh, huge part of the burner community. Um, but I would like to have him on the show at some point because, again, he's one of my friends. <laughs> and he has a talent that I would like for the world to hear about it and we're always laughing about just nonsensical stuff and I feel as though the rest of the world can if not uh what's the word relate yeah maybe that's the word if you guys can't relate then maybe at least you'll get a good giggle um we also have his friend uh Gregory well I can say my friend too he he he's a new friend um he's coming through he is a surf instructor and he spins fire as well um mad props to you guys who can spin fire i cannot do that i am barely (laughs) barely coordinated enough to handle my hula hoop without smacking myself in the face let alone catching anything on fire (laughs) so the time is 7.59, 7.59, 8pm on the west coast, California, LA. Um, yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stop for about 10 seconds and see if I can figure out how to put some kind of music on my playlist or something like that. Um, if you do not hear back from me within the hour, that means I am still waiting on my guests. But if you would like to please tune in and tell your friends, email me, tweet me, Facebook me, any of that, I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear about someone that has impacted your life or, you know, if you had a positive impact on someone and they recently told you and it made your day and you just really want to share that excitement, please let me know. Um, my email is caddycomplex at yahoo, Facebook, Caddy Jam, and my Twitter, Caddy Complex, <laughs> and my Skype is Master Casualty. Sorry, you guys. I know I have a lot of names. 
it's okay. That's what happens when you have multiple personalities and all of them want to have their own brand. All of them want to have their own projects. So instead of trying to force them all to be one, I am embracing my multitude of creativity that is flowing out of my brain. <laughs> all right, you guys. Life and stuff. Get at me.